the chain is broke on my chandelier. I waited for the janitor since yesterday. I'll try to get it fixed for you right away. Where's your husband? I've got a complaint. The door in my bedroom needs new paint. You want so much attention, it's really a crime. Well, tell him to come up and sing it sometime. How many times must you be told? I gotta take a bath if the water's cold. Go get your husband. Or else you'll see, there's gonna be trouble. You telling me? I hear y'all say something about love. You sure did, but just make believe I was fooling, because you ain't gonna get none no how. Well, I ain't did nothing. That's just it. But I was just arrested. Resting. That's all you and your relatives do, rest. It's one you don't get tired of resting all the time. There you go, picking on my relatives again. Look at here, man. If you think I'm gonna feed you and your relation, too, you got another thing coming. Look at them. There's that lazy niece of yours. And your Uncle Uranus. Oh, Uncle Uranus, just how do you pass the time? I don't, Ethel. I just sit here and let the time pass me. Gaze on them. And your grandpa, Moe. Your two cousins, Columbia and Pansy. Them two sleeping beauties must think this year at the hotel. A whole lot of them, just a bunch of good-for-nothing loafers, living off of the fat heads of the land. Only we happen to be the fat heads. Now, that's a lay off of that. It seemed to me we was talking about lunch. How about it? I'll stop. You is? Well, just continue on gazing in that looking glass and watch yourself starve to death. Who's that? Who's that? Me, Cousin Joe. Oh, that's my good old Cousin Joe. Ain't you got nothing but relations? Ain't you got no friends? Surprise. Can I come?
come in? You is in. How are you, Joe? Where's your baggage? Well, I ain't brought much baggage. I figure you got everything I need here. But I was scared I might get a little lonely. So I brought my three brothers along. Come along, little doggies. Come along. Well, well, well. 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 When you hang your hat in a hard on flat That's when they thought of air Why it's still around in the chair You get to eat the chair When you hang your hat in a hard on flat Then the southern cooking start to looking For the dining room Oh, what a sweet perfume Da-da-da-da Then it makes you feel as though You're a real aristocrat It makes you hate to go When you hang your hat in a hard on flat I gotta have quiet, and I'd like to have my breakfast in bed. Just what did you all boys do for a living before you come here? Uh, we was uh, traveling men. Traveling men? Yes. Sir. Well, I won't see that you pick up where you left off. <laughs> you what, 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 what's the matter? You can't do that. You can't do that to me. I'm tired of working and slaving for a bunch of good for nothing tramps like y'all is. Saying which, I hereby hand in my designation. From now on, somebody else around here has got to go to work. Arkies never dream. They must laugh and sing all day. Can't forget your troubles when you're thinking what they are. You can't find the sunshine when you're reaching for a star. Darkies never dream. Wouldn't help to live that way. We must walk a weary road that never seems to turn. What good would it do to yearn? Darkies never cry. Who would ever hear our sad lament? what we have to pay with a one-way passage only Gabriel will redeem on that judgment day when we cross that Jordan
nieces and nephews. I has made millions coming up to visit you and want you all to help me stand some of my doors. It's me, Swami Rivers, the mind reader. Well, what's on your mind, Swami? I have been commuting with the spirits, Miss Peabody, and from certain rumors and designations, I've got some mighty fine news for you. Oh, sounds like it's gonna cost me something. Oh, now, Miss Peabody, you know I don't care nothing about money. I was ethereal, immaterial, and inconsequential. But uh, if you insist, I'll take two bits. I knew there was a catch in it. All right. Now come on upstairs with me, because the spirits don't never come down to the basement. Now how do you want this good news sprung on you? By the reading of your palm? Or the bump on your head? Or does you just want to be psycho-annihilated? Let your conscience be your guide. Just tell me. Concentrate. I see something distant. Don't tell me it's another relation. It's getting close. Now I know it's another relation. Now it's getting closer and closer. And it's a rich one. Who is it? Who is it? Shut your eyes and concentrate. Has you got an uncle named Frisbee? Frisbee? Yeah. Yes. Samson's Uncle Frisbee. What about him? Well, he's a millionaire, and he doesn't signify to me that he's arriving tonight. He's coming to spend... Spend what? Well, he's going to spend some time with you. Oh, I thought so. What's that? What is it? I, I don't know, Miss Peabody. You don't know. Let me, my spirits. Honey, we is rich. I just got this phone to call from Uncle Frisbee, and he do it arrive here tonight. Swami, you sure is some mind reader. I sure is. Come on, baby, get busy. We got to give that millionaire uncle a great reception if he wants any part of his door. Come on, let's go. Swami, you is a man. Oh. that Frisbee. He's harmless. The only fault with him was he used to think he was Emperor Jones. We better get him back. See, they think that I'm Emperor Jones. Ah, but I fooled them. 
You know who I am? Right. I am the Emperor Jones. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't get this. Don't thank me now. You thank me later. Well, folks, I've had a hard day at the office, and I was ready to eat. Won't you join me? Come on, folks. Say, I've been in here two days and haven't seen a waiter yet. If I don't hurry up and get some service, I'll call the manager. Say, that Uncle Frisbee yours is either nuts or he's just testing us before he gives us some of that money. You go on left to him. I'll get it. Well, what can I do for you, Uncle Frisbee? Don't get so familiar, young man. I will have you fired. Yes, sir. yes. Sir. Now get this order straight. I want four turtle legs while nine minutes on one side and three on the tutter. We all chipped in and bought you a nice fat chicken to surprise you. I'll bring it in right now. Listen, Bill. What's the matter? There's something awful funny going on around here. A minute ago, I had my watch, and now it's gone. What you looking at me for? Hold on. Wait a minute, Jim. Somebody took mine, too. Yours, too? Is it that? I sure hope you like this chicken, Uncle Fred. It costs two bucks. I'll take the leg. I'll take any part I can get. It's gone. What are we going to do? Why, it's gone. Hey, somebody's got my suspenders. Everything is going around here. What are we going to do about it? We'll call Swami. He'll tell us where that chicken went. Let's call Swami. This is going to be easy. You all just let me look in my crystal ball, and I'll tell you who stole it. Good Lord Almighty, I done lost the crystal ball. No. Yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> But, but surely you that knows all and sees all don't know where the crystal ball is? Well, how am I going to tell you where the crystal ball is if I ain't got no ball to tell me where it is? Huh? Wait a minute. I got it. Shopping. Somebody turn out the light. I can see St. Peter's standing by the rock. I can see St. Peter's standing by the rock. Better take your sins and put them all in heart. I can see St. Peter's standing by the rock. Bow down, bow down, hallelujah. Bow down, bow down. I'm calling him to come and help his love. I can see St. Peter standing by the rock. 